Hi folks, welcome to my kitchen, welcome to my channel, what to cook to cook. Today I'm going to do a salad, a mango salad, quite interesting. Let's see how I do it. Okay, let's go. I have um, some sweet peppers that I cut up as they were called the julienne style, very thinly. Um, the sweet pepper that I got is about this size. Hope you can see that. So I did half of that. And I did half of a red onion. Thinly sliced. I try to get this, get this circular part of the onion to get that shape. Now I'm going to get to the main ingredient, the mango. Okay, here I have my mango. It's beginning to get a little ripe, as you can see, but it's not totally green and it's not totally ripe. So just in between like how I would like I want it to be. So I will start to peel. Let's peel off the skin. Seems like it's more ripe than I thought, but it's all fine. That's what I'm looking for, firmness of the mango. I may have to use another mango. This seems to be quite a bit ripe. But I think I can still use part of it. So I'll use, I'll cut like this, this section here. And I'll cut it long, long, what's that? Vertical wise. I'll be back. Okay, here we go again. This mango was, as, was more ripe than I thought. So I didn't really get much mango out of it. So I'll just cut them, cut these slices. The bits and pieces I got that was a little full, I'm gonna cut it thin like this. Oh, damn. So we get this done. Bear with me a second. Doesn't that look pretty? And we're not done as yet. Like I said before, the mango that I have, it was a bit too ripe, but I was still able to get some firm parts of it to add to make the salad. I wanted the mango to be a little firm enough so I could slice it up like these pieces here, you know, but some of it was a bit mashing up. So I didn't get that much, but we could still do this and at least you can understand how we could make this mango salad. So let's get the next ingredient. I'm gonna cut up some cabbage, add a little, um, Maybe spinach to get a little color, mixture of green color into my salad. My next ingredient would be two cups of thinly sliced cabbage. I'm gonna add a handful of baby spinach. That should do it. Okay, folks, I was able to salvage some of the ripe mango off camera. So I'm a little more satisfied now. So let me mix that in. And you may be wondering about the dressing. So let me show you what I normally use. My favorite dressing is a balsamic vinaigrette. Doesn't this look pretty? The reason why I put the spinach again, have the, like, the dark green with the light green of the cabbage. That's why I like to put the little sticky spinach. You get a colorful salad, mango salad. So this is the brand of, hope you can see that well, of the balsamic vinaigrette that I use. I just love this. I don't use anything else. I'll just add maybe about a tablespoon of it. Let's say two tablespoons. That should do it. Mix everything together. And we're done basically. I don't really add soy because I have already seasoned everything in that um, in the dressing. And then you know you get more of the sweetness from the mango, sweetness from the sweet pepper. Mm -mm -mm. This would be good. This would be good. All right, so let me just plate this out so you can see. Have a look on your plate. Just beautiful. There's your mango salad. Maybe if you have more mango, you know, 
You'll see more of the yellow spots in there. What is there? Trust me. You'll be surprised with that tangy, sweet flavor in your mouth while you take a bite in your salad. Okay, folks, there you have it. A beautiful mango, mango um, salad. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.